My name is Ricardo Rao. I am a physicist and I am a former member of the University of Luxembourg when I received my PhD in uh, late 2018. I'm very happy. I was awarded with the FNR award for outstanding PhD thesis. The aim of my thesis was to provide the fundamental tools to assess uh, the energetic cost of metabolism and signal transduction in small living systems like cells. Currently, I'm a member of the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, where I'm taking quite big footsteps, being a science expert from Naples and then Luxembourg. So, here's the central part. What you can see here is the fundamental decomposition of the entropy production rate for stochastic processes. Any question? <laughs> okay, let's give it a try. What we aim at is to understand the principles or the functioning of small living systems like cells. These systems are small but very complex. And for this reason we decided to start from two central aspects of it. Uh, metabolism and signal transduction, which deal with the conversion of chemical energy, food and information, into forms that the cell can make use of. Now, thermodynamics is the key in my research, as it deals with the conversions of one form of energy into another. In thermodynamics, everything started 200 years ago, with the purpose of making large dimensions more efficient. In that case, what it's done is heat, it's converted into motion, which is a mechanical work. To give you an idea, coal is burned, the um, water is heated, and steam pushes on pistons, which produce motion. If this energy conversion works well, most of the heat which is provided to the machine is converted into motion, and you can say that your machine is efficient. So, if your car runs for 100 kilometers with three liters of gasoline, you would say that your car is efficient. Now, you can turn this idea upside down and say, okay, the part of energy which is not converted into motion, the one which is dissipated, actually is very important because it tells you uh, how much your process is inefficient and how could you improve it. But what about the efficiency of living systems, of our body, of, of cells? Uh, how could we study that? We actually don't know much about that. These systems are characterized by more than one input, heat, and one output, uh, motion. Because cells perform many tasks at the same time. With my thesis, I delivered some analytical tools to quantify uh, the energetic costs of these multiple input and output mechanisms. And to have this all worked out, what we're doing is using our mathematical superpowers. What we do, I do, is fundamental research. We're not planning the next update on your mobile phone. We aim at understanding the principles uh, that make life working. Where this will lead us, we cannot tell it by now. But it's, since the, it's these principles that shape life and make it possible, it might be worth to pursue this. <laughs>